I detect above normal temperatures. Okay, I respawned pretty far back. And apparently it doesn't respawn you in the same traction mode you were in before. That's good to know. Press again. Environmental temperatures. Let's save here. Are within acceptable limits. The breachers. Observer over. Th yep, the observer over there. No, 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 that you, you, you. There we go. Okay. Temperature is much better. Oh. All right, so non functional console. We have a container here of crafting materials. Appears to be it. Oh, there's another one. And trash items I can sell. Life support is back online. Ah. Let's now let's head back and get that um Supply cash. Now we're out of the desert and more into the Badlands. I mean, everywhere, all, all the land here is bad. But we have to distinguish one kind of bad from another. <laughs> uh. Watch the edges. Sometimes they collapse. And step isn't quite the right term. Uh, oh, this part step because there is actual brush here. So we worked out a deal. Get ready to fight. We had a deal. Apparently not.
All right. I shield the charge, please. guys, I thought we had a deal that we cleared out a new base for you and then you'd let us in and come take your old stuff and you'd clear and you'd clear out and get your old stuff. Maverick Deadeye Armor. Nice. And here's the medical supplies. All right, quest completed. And we've unlocked the cryopod. Awesome. All right, save game. All right, um, actually. A bunch of text here. Oh. in I want to look for his way out there so I'm gonna hold off on that one um Actually, we're one journal. Also, since I've leveled up, let's spend those points. So, just boost her powers or boost her just general gunslinging. That booster powers. Oops, wrong one. And Drac. Drac's got five points. Okay, so boost versus armor or just general power boost. power. So I cannot lo level up not Drac any further. <sighs> let's over let's level up my grenades. Uh, actually biotic powers. That my passives. Deal more damage to shields.
boost that into pistols because of my machine pistols. And... Alright. Let's fast travel over to the Krogan Outpost then, now that we did these batch of side quests. New Tachanka coming up. Well, we'll leave my car out here. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Move along. No outsiders. She's with me. Human Pathfinder. Drag. It's been a while. Jorgle Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too. Shut it, Brick. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need him. Hey, you guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drag, didn't I tell you? To <laughs> I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. All right. Well, yes, actually, I am pretty tough. I've fought, like, three of those worm things. It was an accident. The terminal of Dr. O'Kir's data was right next to the scrubbed ones. Don't worry, Dr. Gunnar. I'll track it down. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kir? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no? Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> anyway, it's encrypted, but it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kir like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kir was on the leading uh -huh. edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has That's invested. a big deal. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. Got it. Hey, terminal. Lore. Baron Jerky. Microfabricator, basically swap meat offers, and gingerbread cookies. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can, I can get you that. I can get you the information on that. Makes sense that you'd put the uh, your base of operations for the underground like this because it keeps it cool. Lost in all the pit fights, stupid Adi can't even dodge. Yeah, you want to play the heavy for a criminal? Why come all this way? You could have been a pit. updated.
<laughs> we ought to check it out, actually. See if we can win out the other day. Side quest. Let's take the cap. Let's stroll over here and get that, and then go continue with the main story quest for the Krogan. Varka, listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. What do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight, so they're fighting each other. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. Well, there's a lot of nasty wildlife out here. Um, and there's this. There's the cat. Sounds like all they need is something to shoot. That's exactly what they need. Best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the rite, and we can hold this colony together. How am I supposed to help with the rite? For one, they need something to fight. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no, but I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract a fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Varka and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck. Okay, that's uh, that'll be interesting. Bottle kit from a wall. You Ravener Brank? Struck sent me. He said hey. that you... Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. Overlord? Drac, Kesh said you had a new job. She didn't tell me you did. And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachunka. Uh huh. I don't want to be me. I don't want to get snarky about this. Let's just be cool like Fonz. Cool like Fonzie. You mean that? Because it doesn't sound like you mean that. You're right. I don't. You weren't there when the Council species on the Nexus banded together to screw over the Krogan. Again. New Galaxy, same crap. I'd just like you to give me, personally, the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like. Actually, yes. Our outposts are new. We could use the advice. Your manipulation is so transparent. No advice for you. Only regret. Watch. The Krogan will thrive and the initiative will pay. Get out of my face before I smash it. Been a pleasure. I'm going to journal about this later. See you soon. a hard ass, but that
that surprised even me. Not good. Yeah, maybe. She was super clear about us paying. She said we'd pay. Let's talk to Brank before we freak out. <laughs> holding his holy capital fire over <laughs> his head in an attempt to gain freedom for really religious. <laughs> Possibly playing the human song In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. The neck more morbid dance <laughs> next week. <laughs> Grant the Ragening. <laughs> A Krogan LARP! <laughs> we lost the- oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> ah. Drac, yo, Brack. Swing by when you ain't so busy playing heroes. We'll catch up. Sure thing, Krat. I have stories, let me tell you. I don't sell Rincol to humans. Matter of principle. No problem. What's Rincol? Krogan alcohol. Like drinking a live grenade. I distill it myself. Strong Which is why you don't sell it to humans. That's impressive. Not really. I'm the only distiller in the galaxy. Remind me to stock up. What's it like living out here? It's no paradise, but it's easier than Tachanka. Back home, stepping outside during a nuclear wind could tear the plate from your skull. Yeesh. <sighs> well, catch you later. That's all for now. Back to it. What do you think of the colony? Pretty great, huh? When you said colony, I didn't think you meant this. Why didn't you tell me, Drac? Wasn't sure about you. This is a hell of a colony. And then it seems simpler to just show you what we got here. It's... rustic? That's what we're going for. Rustic. I'm guessing you have questions. Um... There's a lot of prefab materials here, and shuttles. Some of it was gear we had stored away on the Nexus. The rest we sort of stole when we left, not like anyone. That's fair. How long has the colony been here? Since we left the Nexus. After Dude, you the built meeting. this really fast. Just like that? Leave the Nexus, start a colony? We're Krogan, kid. We can live anywhere. Could have parked our tails on a volcano and handled it just fine. The plants here, where'd they come from? Ever since the clan got here, Warren and his assistant have been working hard on the greenhouse. We built him and Hark some pretty fancy digs. Lights, hydroponic grow rig. New to Chunkas plants grow way better than the ones back home. Way less radiation. You seem at home here, Drac. And you're not getting any younger. Ever think of retiring? The day you dig my grave, old timer. Sad honor that'll be. How do you know Drac? We mined together back when our quads had barely dropped. Now I just can't seem to get rid of them. I'll talk to you later. So you are contemporaneous in age, more or less. You fixed that leak? Work 
working on it. This map is, by the way, kind of abysmal. Hey, fluorite. That must be the arena. Which course. means it Sam? dangerous to those handling it, but in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Lots here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Thanks, Frank. So that's doubly bad because what we've seen. The Scourge is drawn to Remnant tech, and particularly unstable Remnant tech. The Drive core goes haywire. It won't just destroy the Nexus, it will draw the Remnant to the Nexus, Remnant, the uh, Scourge to the Nexus, and potentially cause a whole bunch of crap to go down for the entire sector. Fun! Ignore team. One more side quest I can get up here. human pathfinder you look different from the pictures i saw you probably saw pictures of my dad your dad you replaced him as pathfinder it's a long story haven't really kept up with nexus news enough trouble to occupy me here scavengers amongst other things you seen the flop house yet that's where they get together 80 percent shacks 100 percent trouble i'll give you the nav point so you can avoid it or not as you choose. Tell me more about the flop house. It's a loose collection of shelters uh -huh. where some scavenger gangs gather. 
They knock each other around, drink, and then when they're all riled up, run raids. And if you get close when they're hungry, well, that's how I lost a liver and gained a limp. Have you had much trouble with the scavengers at the colony? Not yet. They're not that stupid. A bunch of squishies against a hundred-odd Krogan? Give it a little time. Resources run low, they'll get desperate, and who knows? Thanks. This information will come in handy. Just trying to help. Be careful out there, Pathfinder. Okay. So that's exciting. Okay. <laughs> Tendency towards sarcasm. This is true. Oh, sorry, Pathfinder. Okay. Or Morta. 